Well, hello to all of my students. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Jay, and on today's lesson, I have another English read and repeat story that I know will help your English comprehension, vocabulary, as well as your English fluency. Now, you can read along with me. For those of you who know and those of you who don't know, today's story is down in the description of today's lesson and you can follow along. With that being said, let me say this. One of my subscribers suggested that after I do my lesson that I read through the entire story quickly. I thought that was an excellent idea, and so I'm going to do that on today's lesson. If you need subtitles, those are available as well down uh, what below the video. Just turn the subtitles on, and the, that will help you. So if you're ready for today's lesson, have a little bit of laughter, a little bit of learning. Let's get ready to dive in, and let me grab some water. Before we dive in into today's lesson, you ready? Let's go. One sunny day, mischievous Galvin was involved in a high speed chase. After swiping three bags of cookies from the local store. <laughs> Let's read and repeat one sunny day. Mischievous Galvin was involved in a high speed chase after swiping three bags of cookies from the local store. So when you swipe something, you take it. Give me that. <laughs> you swipe it. OK, now. Someone that is mischievous, mischievous, uh, they cause some trouble. Now, some mischievous people are playful, uh, but bottom line, a mischievous person is going to do something that's going to cause some trouble or some harm. OK, so you might say the mischievous puppy chewed on my favorite shoes. OK. Let's go on. Someone that is involved participates or engages in something. OK, they are involved. They have an involvement. OK, we decided not to get involved with the gang. OK, <laughs> or if your girlfriend, boyfriend or spouse wants to argue, you just tell them, look, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> With cookies in hand, he zipped through the town on his speedy skateboard, giggling with delight. Let's read and repeat. With cookies in hand, he zipped through the town on his speedy skateboard, giggling with delight. Now, someone that zips or Galvin zipped, they moved quickly or swiftly. So if a dog were chasing me, you would say, man, look at Jay zip through the yard. <laughs> I mean, he's he, uh, 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 uh. he's zipping through the yard, trying not to get bit <laughs> by the dog. OK. So you might say the skilled musician efforts effortlessly played the guitar or he zipped through the guitar lesson. OK, giggling, giggling, laughing in a light, joyful manner. <laughs> giggling. OK, you're you're we call it snickering. OK. Uh, laughing is another word for for giggling. The police alerted to the cookie caper started chasing Galvin. 
Let's repeat. The police alerted to the cookie caper started chasing Galvin. Okay, a caper, a playful and mischievous escapade or adventure. Okay, and sometimes a caper is not playful. Okay, you you may hear a news reporter say, hey, the bank robbers tried another caper today and got away with $50,000. There's nothing playful about that. <laughs> Someone could have gotten hurt. Okay, but You could use it in a sentence like their weekend capers often involved exploring hidden places. Okay, so a caper can be either way. It can be playful or it can be serious. As they closed in, they tried to warn him not to eat the cookies, shouting, stop. Those cookies are stale and have roaches in them. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. This begs to ask the question, why was the store even selling the cookies? (laughs) You mean you had some cookies for sale that were stale and had roaches in them? Look. When I when I when I put the story together, I didn't think about that, but I thought it was funny. (laughs) But I have bought some stale items before from the store. Okay, let's read and repeat. As they closed in. They tried to warn him. Not to eat the cookies. Shouting, stop. Those cookies are stale and have roaches in them. (laughs) What would you do if you bought some cookies that were stale and had roaches in them? Boy, talk about being mad. I'd be like, Undeterred, Galvin munched on the stolen cookies, thinking they were his sweet escape. Oh, Galvin, you're nasty. (laughs) Let's read and repeat. Undeterred, Galvin munched on the stolen cookies thinking they were his sweet escape. Okay, when something or someone is deterred, deterred, uh, they're discouraged or prevented from doing something. So, for instance, you might say undeterred by the rain, they continued their outdoor adventure. Yeah, that's a great sentence. They were undeterred. With each bite, the police cringed, wondering how anyone could enjoy such a snack. (laughs) Oh, gosh. Now, I have seen on television in some countries eating certain bugs is a delicacy. It's it's an acquired delicacy taste or something that people do. Do they eat roaches or bugs in your country? I know here you can find like fried grasshoppers or chocolate covered grasshoppers. I couldn't do it. (laughs) I could not do it. No, no, no. Let me know down in the comment section. Do they eat bugs in your country or have you ever eaten a bug before. Ah, that's nasty. Let's read and repeat. With each bite, the police cringed, wondering how anyone could enjoy such a snack. 
cringed. So when a person cringed, they react with embarrassment or discomfort. So when you cringe, if you just saw somebody, you would go, oh, that's a cringe. Or you would be like, nasty or some people go you know they cringe okay the unexpected thunderstorm made everyone cringe in surprise oh yeah when you hear thunder and lightning outside uh or see the lightning boom you know you cringe you you jump you shake okay now i will say this when it comes to eating certain bugs I, it has been said that many of them are full of protein. So if that's something that is common in your culture, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, hey, that's what you do. But I, I just don't know if I could do it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then turn around and have to kiss my wife. Oh, no. <laughs> she would be like, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy eventually the high speed chase came to an end as galvin finished the last cookie look at that roach let's name him earl <laughs> hello earl <laughs> let's read and repeat eventually the high speed chase came to an end as Galvin finished the last cookie. Oh yeah. These are the type stories that you get <laughs> on my channel. I give you some stuff that's just completely crazy, but but we're learning and we're having a great time. Last sentence. To his surprise, the police burst into laughter we were trying to warn you those cookies were a roachy choice <laughs> they explained or or exclaimed a roachy choice okay a roachy slang term for something unpleasant or contaminated with roaches ah that's nasty <laughs> <laughs> a roachy choice wow i hope you enjoyed that story now let's go through the entire story at a faster pace and uh certainly appreciate one of my subscribers leaving me feedback i am open to criticism i am open to feedback that causes improvement i have been told <laughs> a couple of times about some of my typos uh, but hey, I appreciate you guys paying attention and helping me out. So uh, bless up to the subscriber that suggested this. Let's put it into action on today. One sunny day, mischievous Galvin decided to embark on a high speed chase after swiping three bags of cookies from the local store. With cookies in hand, he zipped through the town on his speedy skateboard, giggling with delight. The police, alerted to the cookie caper, started chasing Galvin. As they closed in, they tried to warn him not to eat the cookies, shouting, Stop! Those cookies are stale and have roaches in them. Undeterred, Galvin munched on the stolen cookies, thinking they were, in his, thinking they were his sweet delight. With each bite, the police cringed, wondering how anyone could eat such a snack eventually the high-speed chase came to an end as galvin finished the last cookie to his surprise the police burst into laughter we were trying to warn you those cookies were a roachy choice they exclaimed the cookie caper ended with galvin the cookie thief and the police sharing a good laugh realizing that sometimes even the silliest adventures can bring unexpected joy. And that last sentence was a bonus sentence, so I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> All right, let's get today's quiz in. Today's quiz. Let's see if you can answer these, and this will test your comprehension of today's story. 
as we come to a close for today's lesson. What does cringe mean? Question number one, what does cringe mean? Number two, what does munch mean? If I munch on something, what does that mean? And number three, what is a caper? What is a caper? So if you need to screenshot these questions, do that and go back and listen to the lesson again. If you cannot answer these questions, then you do that. I often encourage my students to study by watching the lessons at least two times all the way through to help familiarize yourself uh, with how the words sound and the rhythm of using certain words. And so I hope you do that today as well. As always, I say thank you so much. I really appreciate you hanging out with me on today's lesson. Um, be sure to follow me also on Instagram. Uh, here's my Instagram channel, and I, and I do some things over there to keep you engaged, uh, to, just to help you with your English, okay? Well, let me say this. I've been doing lessons every single day. And so if you're watching this, you get to give me some feedback. I've been doing lessons every single day and I'm thinking about maybe doing them two to three times a week, maybe every other day. Let me know, do you enjoy getting a lesson every day or would you prefer me doing it maybe just twice a week or three times a week? Let me know down in the comment sections comment section as well. Should I just keep doing it every day, Jay, or maybe do two to three? Okay. Also, if you want lessons by email, uh, different blog posts that I do, PDFs, a lot of free material, I'll be sending out uh, emails once a week here shortly. So you want to go ahead and sign up for that. That link is down in the description. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching today's lesson. I hope you have had a great time with me. And until next time, have a wonderful day. I'll see you then.